All right, welcome to the Anon Credits Working Group meeting for March 25th, 2024. Um, progress update on Anon Credits V1 in W3CV CDM format. Um, a discussion on Anon Credits V2 in W3, W3C BCDM format. Um, we'll probably miss this um, next topic as um, Mike Lauder is not available today, and I wanted to have a discussion and get his feedback on that. So maybe we'll do that, maybe not. Um, we'll see. We can play it by ear. Um, reminder, we're recording. Reminder, this is a Linux Foundation Hyperledger meeting, so the antitrust policy and the code of conduct is in effect. Um, let's just jump into it. Um, as far as the VCDM work, um, the Credo bifold work is complete. Um, so that's good news. We got word from that. Um, I don't know if the PR and bifold has been merged. Um, I'll be checking on that today. And the um, Akapai work is in progress and hopefully getting wrapped up. I know we got a, a issuance through um late last week um so hopefully presentation will come will follow soon uh, but we'll see how it goes but the akapai progress was good and so um, we'll be meeting on that in a separate meeting later this morning so with that um, we want to talk about a non-creds v2 in w3c format and so i think victor i'm turning it over to you to um, share what you've got is that okay? Yes, yes. Uh, do you mind if I share my screen? Absolutely. There you go. Thanks. Uh, you guys can see this, right? Yep. So as you suggested last time or the time before, uh, we've moved from Python to Rust to support the uh, verification of presentation. So... Uh, this is how uh, mapping from Anonchrist to W3C is looking right now. So we've create a credential and then we call a function called to W3C and which takes in the uh, credential generated and they will just output the credential into and write to a file. Okay. Yeah. Let me find that for you. So this is what it looks like in W3C and uh, this is the previous Anonchrist credential. Okay. And similarly presentation, we also did the same thing, but with one more, dish, one more thing is we verified the presentation in the beginning yeah. because we want, we would like to have the, uh, the predicate proofs in the in the verifiable credential inside of the presentation right so okay. what it means is uh let me run this i think it's this one no it's this one so what is what it means is that if we look at this verifiable credential inside of this uh presentation we can see the credential subject. So this was the thing we talked about last time. Yeah, yeah. We have a claim and uh, the statements that is related to this claim. For example, uh, revocation has two claims, such as revoked or and uh, verifiable encryption. So uh, where do I get this value? This comes from uh, whether the presentation verification was has passed or, or failed. Okay, yep. And uh, yeah, so signature, well, signature doesn't have any claims related to it. So I just put a separate one. Yeah, yeah. And then the address has a membership connect, uh, related to it. And the age has commitment and range. And then the name value is uh, it's a disclosed message from this presentation. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, so yeah. So basically this is what I've got. And uh, I've also have the uh, the opposite mapping that takes in this uh, 
the W3C in JSON format and then I'll put the I'll put back the uh item credits in JSON. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. I was wondering if you guys have any questions. At this someone... point, no. I I mean it all looks good. Um what form is this a PR that you can put in? No, not yet. I'll put it uh, right after the meeting. Okay. But it, it is doable as a PR. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. Uh, but I, I do have a few questions. Okay. But, yeah. It's regarding about the format of ending credits. Um, well, for example, uh, if we look at this disclosed messages, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, if we look at this disclosed messages, we have a list of lists of so it's it's quite complicated. Holy cow. Thing. Like I understand that, for example, this it is reasonable for one or two lists to exist because like we could have multiple credentials in the presentation and then we can have uh multiple yeah. messages coming from different credentials that are disclosed. But <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just that one. It's just complicated to 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 map and to extract the information inside of this. Disclosed messages. Yeah, there seems to be two two layers extra. Yeah, yeah, too redundant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that was that's one, one of the questions. Mic question. That's a mic question, unfortunately. True. True. So Mike, when you're listening to this, <laughs> help us out here. But yeah, I, I can see the um, the statements and I can see the names being valid, but yeah, I don't see how, how there could be that many layers. Yeah, right. Okay. And uh, I guess another question is that currently, uh, all my all my functions are are public functions, so they serve like a util function, which yeah. you you can just directly call from, uh from any, I guess any other places without, without the actual class. So I I don't have like a specific class for this. I was wondering, should I? That, that was way beyond me. <laughs> so yeah, I can't. Yeah, and that's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 So Mike, yeah. uh, again, over mm -hmm. to you. <laughs> so, I'm sorry if I, I'm like, I'm not as deep into it at the moment, but Victor, thank you for like pioneering that. Do we have to do that to that thing with the disclosed messages? No. Is that something that, okay. This is V2 only. This is an on V2, so you wouldn't need to do this for V1. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I noticed that in V1, you guys have this separate class called like W3C presentation or W3C credential that that's have all these functions, I think. I think the ultimate goal we're going to get to in V2 is the um, everything will be in W3C VCDM. And that will be the only way to do it. I so see. this helps in figuring out, okay, what does that look like? Right, right. Yeah, I see. We don't want to be oh. shifting back and forth. We just want to use W3C format. So there will be no longer end and credits format during the creation? Right. right. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll come directly in as a W3C credential. Cool, but cool. The presentation is particularly tricky because of the exact issues you've you've demonstrated today, which is how do you represent the various zero knowledge proof um, methods, especially when there are multiple ones. Right. Yes. The yeah revocation signature um certainly address again membership if it's got a, an address membership but if it's also being used as verifiable encryption 
Um, yeah, if you got multiple reasons to use something, and there there are multiple reasons to use things. So, um, unlike the predicate where you can possibly get away with just the one in a non creds V one, you can't really get away with it in V two. Mm -hmm. This is excellent. Nice work. How is your uh, Rust learning? Ah, oh, it's pretty rough. I think this is harder than C. I, I was being optimistic at the, in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good skill. True, true. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I've got, and uh, if okay. you if you got so many questions, just just ask me. Yeah. Um. Please go ahead with uh um uh PR for this. Yep. I'll do that right after the meeting, yeah. So, okay. Sorry, I was just looking at the uh the questions in the in the chat. We'll get to that in a bit. Victor, this is awesome. Thank you so much for doing this and getting it ready. Um yes, nice work. Yeah, I'll just stop sharing and you can okay. continue. Okay. Um, just to, let me, um, first of all, let me get back to the chat. Um, where did that go? There it is. Um, Agree on the uh, on the IIW. I know I'll be there, Golda. I'm not sure about whether um, DSR or or uh, Animo will be there. But let's check in with those. So. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking we could do a slide deck, and they could like stick in a couple slides so that we yeah. represent the different works. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Um, the comp. Uh, I'm I'm hesitant to do this without um the full with Mike um not here. So maybe we'll we'll skip on this, but I'll just briefly go over the the idea of the schema object in an on-cred. So this is um a topic that we've got to get to, which is in an on-creds v1 and in the examples we've done so far in an on-creds v2, the schema object has been simple in that it's just a list of attributes. But in um, in Arcrates V2, we have the capability of, of doing complex JSON, and in particular, that means structures and also arrays. So arrays can be done, um, which is something that cannot be done in, in V1. Um, in V1, you have to know at the time you set up the definition of the credential, um, how many elements there are, how many messages, um, or, or in in a cryptography in a cryptographic um, term, but in how many claims there are in the credential that has to be known in V1 upfront. In V2, that does not have to be known, and um, we can sign an arbitrary number of credentials, which means we can support arrays. So um, what we've got to figure out is, but or sorry, and then we still have to um, define the encoding of each of those um, claims. So even if we have complex JSON, we've got to know, is it a scalar? Is it a string? Is it a, a, is it a number? Is it a set? And so on. So we've got to have some way of applying attributes to every one of the um, elements uh, of the claims um, that are going to be signed in a credential. And so there's a few ways we can do it, um, possibly using as much JSON LD as we can, um, using something like JSON schema. We could flatten everything down using what amounts to JSON path references so that the schema becomes flat again even though it's it's not. So I've been looking at various ways to do that. Oh, another one is is to use an OCA bundle and um, 
ex add another overlay that includes the anoncred schema attributes for um, each of the parts. Um, that one fits well with the rest of Aries, certainly. Um, so it's a possibility of way to do it. We still have to, with that, flatten down or, or come up with a way to do the the, the schema properties. But an OCA um, is an interesting possibility. So um, I've been working on that on and off for the last little bit and um, hope to have something more more solid in the next couple of weeks on that. All right, um, given uh, the limited group, I think we will um, leave it at that for this meeting. And um, Victor, thanks for your presentation and um, work on that. Um, as I said, Mike is hopefully nothing serious wrong with him. He didn't, he sounded pretty good and we'll, um, uh, we'll, uh, uh, he'll follow up with you uh, on Discord, and if we have to get together again, we're happy to do that. Um, just the th you know the the four of us, so we can follow up as needed. Great, great, excellent. Okay, well that's all we got for today. So thanks all. Have a great week. Thanks everybody. Yeah. See you, folks. Thanks, thanks guys. Okay.